My name is Jolene Allen and I have three wonderful children. Uh, Brody is seven and Ashley is five and Hope is three. And my girls have a special condition that leaves them severely handicapped. Well, we learned about Ashley's special needs first. When she was two months old, she started having seizures. At about four months of age, we found out the diagnosis. So it's a genetic disease called adenylosuccinase lyase deficiency. It is very rare. There's about, depending on what articles you read, there's 50 to 70 documented cases in the world. Our younger daughter was born with the same condition. I think with Hope and Ashley, we don't have all the um, we don't have all the expectations anymore of what we would have had in the past with a normal child. We don't expect them to run. We don't expect them to talk to us. We don't expect them to s even smile at us anymore. But losing those expectations has made us really appreciate what they can give us, and being able to sit and hold them and just cuddle them and enjoy their presence, you learn, you learn that that's, that's enough. Just being present with someone and being present with children like this is something more valuable than having them do something for you. My ultimate goal for the girls would absolutely be comfort. Seeing them happy and content, um, clean, <laughs> well-dressed, it, it's, it's huge. It's not, um, it's not something I take for granted. I first learned about the centre when we had our first appointment. It's probably the first appointment we had that was, um, first of all, it was useful, and I appreciated that, and it was nice. It wasn't in a hospital. <laughs> it was peaceful. They had a nice play area for Brody, my son, to play in, and he, he loves going there. We bring snacks and we bring our little lunch and we stay there for the day and get all our appointments done and it's a fun outing for us. If nobody do donated to the foundation, the equipment just wouldn't be available for the children. And without the options like special wheelchairs and special bikes and special equipment that help them have more of a life, the, the family life can deteriorate. With the donations that come in to the foundation, providing equipment and providing help for children like this, families feel empowered and, and hopeful. And then the, the stress of the situation is alleviated somewhat. <laughs>